Jason Donnelly here with GearWire.com, and we're looking at the Korg Electribe MX1. This is a very cool groove box by Korg. One of the things that makes this particular piece stand out is a set of twin vacuum tubes. You can see them up here, this little window. Pretty cool, warms up the sound, gives it a real nice, warm kind of analog effect. And we also have nine drum parts, five synth parts, a step sequencer. We can also record in real time. We can record all the knob movements. Great piece here. We can process external audio through its onboard DSP. But in this segment, what I'd like to do is show you something kind of basic. I want to show you how to take a pre-existing pattern that comes stock with this box, copy it to a user pattern, and then customize it to a point where it's something totally yours and unique. This is a method that could be used in a situation where you might not be feeling totally creative and you need a little something to give you some inspiration. Well, this is perfect for um, just that. So let's get a closer look at the Electribe MX-1 and I'll show you exactly how to take this pattern and copy it to a new pattern and customize it to your liking. <laughs> This is the finished product of what I did earlier when practicing for this demonstration. This is what I came up with. And I want to show the viewers how to create something similar to this by starting with the preset pattern. So in this demonstration, I'm going to use pattern D30, which is labeled Demo 6-2. First thing you're going to do is press the right button. It's asking you where to write this source information. What is the destination? Well, in this case, I'm going to write to pattern 30, D33, which I know is an empty pattern. I'm going to hit right again. There you have it. We just copied the entire pattern over to an empty pattern, a preset pattern to an empty pattern. We're going to start with that and use it as sort of a palette of inspiration. Here's what the original preset pattern sounds like. I think, and this one, I really like the groove. There are a couple sounds that I'd like to change in the drum beat, but I like the overall drum beat. So I'm going to start with this drum beat, customize it. I'm going to totally erase all the synth parts and start fresh. I want to create a new bass line. And then usually from there, I can keep adding layers and composing on top of that. So let's start that way. I'm going to show you how to mute the individual sounds first so that you can hear what's going to be added in what's going to be capped. Okay, so here we have part mute and solo. I'm going to use the part mute. I'm going to mute out the synth parts so we can just hear the beat. I just cut the bass line out by holding the part mute button down and selecting the part number, part number one, the bass line is now completely gone. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other parts, two, three. four and five, so 
Here you have just the drum groove, and this is what I want to start with. This is what I like the most about this preset pattern, and it's also an approach that I take. I have to have a solid groove a lot of times to inspire the rest of the song. It's very common in the method of, of composing electronic dance music. Stay tuned for next segment where I show you how to change up the sounds in this drum groove. It's Jason Donnelly with GearWire.com. <laughs> 